creatine. The magic powder that promises you strength, energy and endurance. And maybe some ego boost. But here's the catch. It is not just creatine anymore. There is so many different types of creatine out there. Walk into a supplement store and you will get hit by a lot of different types. But what is the difference? What does it matter? which one you should choose and how do you know it's actually worth your money. So in this video we are going to break down three different types of creatine that we will compare to creatine monohydrate. We will start with creatine monohydrate and talk a little bit about it. We will talk about the dosage, research and why you should take it. Okay, so creatine monohydrate you should be taking three to five grams a day and some do also do a loading phase with around 20 grams a day for five to seven days. Creatine monohydrate is actually the most researched supplement out there and are the most researched creatine supplement. And the benefits is that we become stronger, our body can use more energy, we will have the ability to do training sessions for a longer time and also exercise performance. We can run a little faster and of course this is the most common creatine type. The second one is creatine hydrochloride. With this creatine type you only need one to two grams a day which is a smaller dose than monohydrate. Creatine hydrochloride is bound to a hydrochloride molecule and this is beneficial because it's a better solubility and has fewer digestive issues. Creatine hydrochloride has some supportive research but far less than monohydrate. Number three we have is creatine orotate. You should also take around three to five grams a day just as much as creatine monohydrate. This type of creatine actually has very limited research. This is a niche form of creatine to enhance recovery and endurance. This is actually the least researched creatine type out there and are actually more popular popular among athletes that want to have a option for recovery. Number four is creatine magnesium salate which you should take around three grams per day. The research is very limited as creatine orotate. Creatine magnesium salate is bound to a magnesium molecule which may help with your energy production more effectively. Due to that the creatine is bound to a magnesium molecule, it actually enhances absorption of the creatine and also could reduce water retention compared to monohydrate. Okay, so let's sum this up. Creatine monohydrate is the most researched supplement on the market today and is therefore the most reliable type. But if we overlook that and look at the impact on your stomach, the dosage and the benefits, it really depends on what your reasoning for taking creatine is. Creatine hydrochloride is the best for you that have some trouble with your stomach when taking regular monohydrate. And also if you want to take a smaller dosage each day. Creatine orotate is the best option for you that want to find an option for enhanced recovery and also if you are focusing on doing endurance training. Creatine magnesium salate is the best for you that are having some trouble with water retention when taking monohydrate and also for you that want to have a little extra energy production boost even better than monohydrate. Let me know in the comments if you have taken another type of creatine and what's your thought about it. Subscribe if you like the video.